me get this straight. A man can't text you guys, what are you doing? Because you got two, three thousand dollars worth of monthly bills. I don't think you're really out here looking for like a real man, like an alpha man, a king, somebody who can teach you, guide you, lead you, somebody that you can actually build a foundation with, you know, get some genuine chemistry going. Some Y'all not looking for that. Y'all not out here looking for somebody to help you. I'm so sick of people getting bad advice. And one of the worst pieces of advice that I hear all the time is don't date a broke man. Wrong. Wrong. It's not don't date a broke man. Don't date an uneducated man. For when he is intellectually inferior, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. Let me say that again, because y'all need to jot that down. When he is intellectually inferior, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. A lot of you guys are delusional. You can't take this. You be running from the dick. She be running from the dick. <laughs> Women don't run from dick. We can literally, you know, shoot out in a nine pound, one ounce infant. Okay. We are not running from it. We're running from bad stroke. Okay. I am about to tell the truth and shame the dick devil. Okay. <laughs> It's showtime. Whoa, we hype tonight. Um, we always hype. We, we always hype. <laughs> always hype. <laughs> Give me that right there. Give me that. Come on. Let me hang it. Give me that. This your podcast, man. Good evening, everyone. You gotta hit that shit, boy. Man, we need to open up. We, we need to go hit the nightclub one night. Yeah, you know I mean. Can you dance? I used to, man. I don't know, what man. What you used to? Let me find back, out you going into the club, Bobby. Back, back in the day, I used to be on my <laughs> shit. It's no more. All they do now I is know. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they don't even do that. They said they, they'd be on their phone. Look, man, and they, they be up mean. against the wall watching everybody. Yeah, <laughs> bullshitting. Girls don't want to dance with guys. Guys don't want to dance with girls. Yes, the girls dance with the girls now these days. So yeah. hey, it is what it is. You know, listen, you know, remember, remember back in the day when 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 we was in the club. You know what I mean? You, I've never been a you, club chick. You, you, you want the club chick? No, nah, never was. Uh, mm -mm. Nope. You ain't hanging a club. No, I would go every now and again for like a birthday party, but I've never been a club chick. Oh my god, I feel sorry for you. Why? Because you missed out on. How? The experiences of life. Okay, I just said I would go to a club every now and again, but hey. An Uber? <laughs> what it do? I am not a club hey, chick. Hey, I, am a, I'm a, I am a nice, wholesome woman. What about the let out? You, you, you ain't do let no, out? No, no. You ain't want that to let out? Let me tell you something. Sometimes... My girlfriends, like any, whenever I possibly could get a babysitter, because of course, you know, I had my kids young. So we, we would go and hang out, you know, down. It was, I forgot the name of the club. It was on uh, Spring Garden. Spring Garden, uh, Spring Garden, Spring Garden. You're talking about the one on, on uh, 7th and uh, Spring Garden? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. With, with, with the, uh, the, 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 the like three upstairs. floors yes. and all that. Yeah. So, yes. I, bag, we would, I we bagged a lot of shorties. And then there was there. another one in Germantown. Um, I bagged a lot of shorties out there. Oh, gosh. In Germantown, <laughs> right off of Germantown Avenue. Uh, but other than that, no, I've never, I don't like the club scene. My well, listen, thing. let me tell you something. Me and my homies, we had a motto when we should go to the club. And what was that? F and F. What's that? We either fucking or fighting. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> We in the club. That's exactly oh, why. Y'all guys, li literally, you know, it used to piss me off because uh -huh. it's like, I would literally see a guy, he would come talk to me, and then he'll turn around, and then there'd be another girl behind me talking to her and exchanging numbers. And I think it was like, I guess for y'all, a contest on how many numbers you can get by the end of the night. Is that what it is? Nah, listen, let me tell you something. Real, before we even start, I'm, I'm uh -oh, going to tell, uh -oh. tell you how, <laughs> how, from a guy's point of view. See, when you walk in there early, you got you got to fill the place out. And you know what I mean? You start kicking in with a couple of shorties, see where they head is So at. what's considered early? So, early, I'm talking about when you, you know, you get up in there about 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Okay, all right. You know what I mean? You talk to them, you know, hey, what's up? Boom, boom, boom. Can I come back to that? If I can come back to that, that's that's a shorty I'm going to pull for the night. But if she ain't give me no rhythm, then I'm going to spin off. Hey, what's up, baby girl? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing tonight? Oh, she's a potential? 
I'll be back to you around about 1.30, exactly. 2 o'clock. Exactly. Until the, when, when the lights come on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because when them lights come on, then it's like they might be, they might look a little There different. you go. You're ground pounding. Oh, God. You giving her the sprinkler. You are the epitome. You giving her the sprinkler. You are the epitome <laughs> of why I didn't like clubs. Man. <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't pull up on the 90s front. Oh, man. I have hey, a club. Look, I'll club, I'll club at home to myself with my, with my music. That's my thing. <sighs> I'm, I'm a music chick. I'm always listening to music, but the club club scene is not my thing. No club scene. Nah. Let me tell me, none of your girlfriends snack got that. Come on, come on, girl. Yeah, come but back see, in. but then again, nine times out of ten, because they knew who I, how I was, I was yeah. always the babysitter. You was the babysitter. I was the babysitter. And I, I was I bet cool you was one of them girls that's always had a boyfriend. Killjoy, see? That's I see. Killjoy. <laughs> this so, your podcast, I man. I say that I always had a boyfriend, but... During those years, I guess after I had my daughter, it wasn't necessarily like, okay, boyfriend, because I was like talking to multiple people at the same time. Oh, ooh, for real? I was young. Hey. Oh, you was a pimptress? Oh, man. I <laughs> didn't <laughs> say that. So, you was a pimptress? So, I wasn't in a relationship with multiple people. I was just talking to multiple people uh, at the uh, same time. Uh, it was fun. Like, just uh, like it was fun for y'all. Hey. For us, it was, it was, it was considered like a business. Man, I didn't look at you know it that way. Saying? It was just it was just somebody different to talk to. And go on. Hey, listen, welcome to Dish Your Own Podcast. And as usual, we're gonna have a great show for you tonight. <laughs> for one hour, we want you to sit back, enjoy the show, laugh with us, watch some videos. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna act a fool. <laughs> as always. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment as you please. Hey, mama. Yes, yes. That's my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? Yeah. Not, that, not, wasn't, not, that, not, that wasn't the one that got you out in the, in, in the clubs, was it? No, no. So she she's a girlfriend from something like that. She's my adult friend. Like I, we we became friends yeah. as adults. So we are mature now. We do the club thing. We do the travel thing. Me and Kiana do the travel thing. Y'all do the travel yeah, thing? Yeah, we do the travel thing. The business and travel thing, yes. Hey, yes. hey, hey Kiana, I, I need some secrets on, on your homegirl. Ain't over no here. secrets. I need some secrets <laughs> on your homegirl over here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Look. I'm going to look for your email when the show is over tonight. And I'm going to uh -huh. see if you can give me some secrets, some tips. One thing anybody can any say about me, if I do some dirt, I'm doing it on my own. Oh, that's the best way to do it. Doing it on my own. So <laughs> nobody got no secrets <laughs> on me. You're, you're nasty behind. <laughs> anyway, man. Shall we slide to the first video? Yes. Let's not keep the, let's not keep the, uh, anybody waiting. <laughs> it's this Jump Podcast. Let's go. All right. And I can ask a question that, that may have been out of bounds for you. How did that make you feel? Well, you were throwing out mm. questions. Black or white, summer or spring, right? And every one I answered, boom, 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 boom. You threw out, mm -hmm. choked or spanked. Ooh. I said, hey. Uh-oh. That's not a question I'm willing to answer. My answer for you caused you to say, I don't know how this got no sexual. Shot. I wasn't coming yeah. from a sexual place. The general population of That's the world <laughs> would agree that those three words <laughs> woven together oh. has a sexual connotation. But Why I will not like so continue to sit here and debate Because he got to play the victim. So from this oh, moment okay. forward, okay. we can change the subject right. or tonight's state will be over. Gotcha. She means business. Got a little intense, but... uh. You gave a piece of it. The whole totality of the conversations, we was rattling off questions. So if you want to give me the respect of asking me if I meant sexual or not, you should have done that. And that's perfectly fine. And I and I said Ooh. what I had to say. Homegirl said, I'm out. You said she out of here. Can y'all come get this mic off me? I'm not about to do this with this grown ass. He was not expecting man. that one. Oh man, he done messed up. He like, oh, I ain't getting yeah, no yeah. No yamage for you tonight. <laughs> Hey, look, he thought he was like really doing something. Hold Listen, up. He knew exactly what he meant. He knew that shit was sexual. But the thing that I don't like is, I mean, mm. be be a man about it. Say, so, hey, listen here, Just Shorty. Be a man. Exactly. Listen, <laughs> listen here, Shorty. I said this and that to try to get a reaction out of you. I didn't mean no harm by it. Right. He could have you know been saying? Let's move on. He could have been a man and said, all right, you look, you know what? You're right. But also, at the same time, I think she overreacted a little bit. Like, granted. You think so? To an extent, yes. Yeah. So, me as a woman, I have had multiple conversations with multiple win men on the first conversation. It, it turns sexual sometimes. I'm like, damn, where the hell that come from? Okay. So, it's like, okay, you know what? If you have certain boundaries, she needs to let that be known. But 
responding in an immature I to me in an immature way by getting up like that that's not that's not resolving anything so yes granted mm -hmm. he could have said you know what all right you know you answered this and I said that and he could have been playing by saying okay spank you know so yeah granted anybody say okay yeah you know spank that means you, you trying to hit yeah, she's yeah. pretty much trying to get to know him so yes you know the the conversation should have just been strictly okay you know what about you or maybe they should have been going walking around somewhere that way he wouldn't have got bored with the conversation maybe he got bored with the conversation like i said I mean, you know me i'm a jokester uh, yeah i'm gonna fucking spit that ass i'm just kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> but the thing that i don't like is what some of these modern men do you know what i mean my, my brethren is they just they it, it continuously try to explain themselves. Now I grew up in household. Well, there's nothing wrong with him explaining himself now, because if well, she's a no, woman and she felt offended by what he say, said, if you say what you say, right? That's it. We gonna okay. get him right there. I'm gonna, he, by him explaining himself, he's not being himself. Is that what nah, you're saying? Nah. His ass got embarrassed. Point blank, he got embarrassed because she little boy him. Right. She sure and, did. And, you know, she little and boy she checked him. him. She checked him, and he just wanted to keep wondering why. Well, you know, I said what I said. Come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, you know, you got a beautiful young woman there, man. Yeah, you said like something I inappropriate. Said, I mean, I'm seeing it from both perspectives. So I, I definitely agree with he's saying, okay, you know what? If you need a clarification, you should have given me the respect by asking me. So, yes, she yeah. should have. She should have done that instead of. I don't know. Like we, we didn't hear the whole conversation, so True. we yeah. don't know where everything where everything started from. So, yeah, I like I said, me, I'd have been like, yeah, well, yeah, I said it. You know, what I mean, choke was spank or whatever, choke, whatever. However, he said it, and then, if she would have said, but you know what? What cracks me up because I'm curious if she, if her ass wasn't the <laughs> hell on TV, would she have responded like that? Because I guarantee you. If she was behind closed doors and and they was doing whatever, talking whatever, she would have answered him. I believe so. Be it, it definitely yeah, would have. Uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely yeah, if, would if, have gone that route if the cameras weren't around. Yes. If the cameras weren't around. So she now probably, she yeah. pretty much got to portray like she's this this good girl, good woman. Like, come on now, be <laughs> real offended. with yourself. I'm offended. <laughs> Man, I'm like, like it's come on. Now. You got that thick bottom back there. I'm trying to see what that be like. <laughs> So you know what? Yeah. No, nah, man, listen. Now I'm trying to tell you. Nowadays, men, us men, we, we got to be real. Yo, man, just be real with it, man. Just be real but with it. But why does it always have to turn sexual? Like, you just met the man. You just met be the girl. Because I would have told her, hey, listen, I said what I said to try to get the reaction out of you. But why That's does it, it have to be on the very first date? Because he just probably wanted to. I'm, I'm listening. He just wanted I'm to realize if, if, if she was one of those. Uptight. I'm curious as to how females, many conversations she was, they had before that date too, and and how the conversation because something must have given him the idea that he could have touched that subject. What who say? What who say? No what, offense, what baby. To, what he got to say? No offense, baby. I'm just <laughs> testing the waters. Exactly. Ooh, I'm just testing the waters. Look, I'm trying to see what that be. Don't like. look. Don't be agging him on. I keep telling you. <laughs> Following us, don't be egging him on. He My is man, a bad oh, influence. It, no <laughs> offense, baby girl. I'm just testing the waters. You know what I mean? Whatever. I'm just testing your boundaries. I guarantee you, she would have respected him if he would have said, "Hey, listen. You know, no offense, no harm. I'm just no, trying to test the boundaries." Honestly, I do. I do think that sometimes the cameras make people respond yeah. a different way. Yep. I mean, he could have said, "Listen, shorty, you kind of chunky back there. I'm trying to see. You know what I mean? I'm trying to right. see what that be like, right?" But he wanted to keep on his man. I ain't explaining to myself. I said what I said. Eat. He was trying to clean it up. Yeah, order so goddamn now, now his homie just Because if I was his homie, I'd be like, yo, man, you dropped a bag. <laughs> you you fumbled the ball on that one, my guy. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well, I'm like, boy, that girl, that girl was pretty. <laughs> yeah, but she a little feisty. She was definitely a little feisty. Because if she feisty like that now, imagine what she going to be like once you get in a relationship. But and, Oh, my gosh. But think about it. Now, I've always said this. I've always said this. How can we call him like a a, a, a dominant or a domineering woman? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We'll always submit to the alpha male. Listen, if you were a, a sigma male, you, you, you're going to get that all the time. 
Now, I don't have an issue with a female, but like, hey, listen he here, definitely Carlo, I ain't got to bring you, I'm mean, Carlo, you was did not it. Alpha. All he right. definitely was not alpha. Yeah, he was not alpha. By that response and how, how he was trying to. How he going to keep on slaying Babe, himself. I'm sorry. So, you Man. know, please just forgive me. That's all. Look, he should have just got on, on his on the floor on the knees and, and yeah. crawled and begged. Like, all right, look, you know, let's just start over. Listen here. <laughs> you know me. I'd have been, I'd have looked at the camera. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to need to drop your comment. Tell us what you think. Yeah, you know I mean, and like who was this? Who was right? Who was wrong? That's uh, all we want to know. I mean, right and wrong is about perspective. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's, your own it's, podcast. It's still, it's, still, it's still a lot that we don't know because I still Cause think we wasn't that there. that conversation started somewhere else <laughs> for him to even feel that comfortable to even say that. I'm like, yeah, man. I said what I said, God damn it. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, so where are we going? Your house or mine? <laughs> so now we go to the next video. Yeah, you go ahead. All right. Go so ahead. listen, <laughs> our next video. <laughs> she says the new generation of women aren't looking for a partnership. They're looking uh -oh. for sponsorship. Here we go. Is she right or wrong? Here we go. Let, let's let Pina yeah. put this off. It's this drum podcast. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Let's go. Let me get this straight. A man can't text you guys, what are you doing? Because you got two, three thousand dollars worth of monthly bills. I don't think you're mm. really out here looking for like a real man, like an alpha man, a king, somebody who can teach you, guide you, lead you, somebody that you can actually build a foundation with, you know, get some genuine chemistry going. Some y'all not looking for that. Y'all are out here looking for somebody to help you. Y'all are mm. out here looking for a sponsor, somebody yep. to sponsor yep. your lifestyle. Because I'm trying to understand when did it become a man's responsibility to even give you anything during the dating phase? Mm. A man is not responsible True. for your monthly bills in the dating phase. You're not his woman. And what True. makes you think that a man does not have his own bills? Right. His own responsibility. Possibilities. Right. That is why a lot of you ladies cannot enjoy the dating phase because you are out here dating for all the wrong reasons. When you are dating somebody, it should really only be about just seeing if you and this person got a connection. Can we build together? Are we on the same page? Do we got the same beliefs, the same values? Something along, along those lines. But y'all get so frustrated. Well, he keep texting me what you doing and he ain't asking me. me. How much is my rent and my colonel? That's not his problem. Let it rip, mama. A real man is not ready mama. to lead with his money. Only an insecure <laughs> man lead with his money. There is some man that will give you money in the first couple of months, but that's a man that don't know himself a man that knows himself he's going to find out a turn off that you're even asking him for right money. allow saying. that man to give you that good gesture a man that is genuinely interested in you he's going to see any type mm -hmm. of weight that he can lift off of you so you wouldn't have to ask to begin with but if you ladies are out here drowning in your own monthly bills like that to the point where you frustrated and can't date somebody for the genuine reasons then you shouldn't be dating you need to go worry about your Tell bills, get them situated, and then come back to the dating field mm. because your bills is nobody else's responsibility mm -hmm. but your own. As long as a man is respecting you, making time for you, and he's showing you that he is consistently interested, that is all you should be asking for in the dating phase. Right. Y'all yep. yep. got to stop this. Y'all begging way too much. This is That's dry begging. That's what that is. <laughs> dry begging. Okay. Okay, sis. Ooh, dry, you know, okay, I'm, sis. I'm letting you kick this one. I, 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 I got to pour my drink. I'm going I'm, I'm to let you start oh, that one off right there. Oh, Yeah, man. Oh, I'm going to let you start that one. Let me, let me pour my motherfucking woofer. Oh, this camera right there. They ain't pour this right here. Go ahead. You don't need any more. Leave me Oops. alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't come between a man and his woofer. Okay. Whatever you said. Whatever you said. What do you think about that? Okay. First of all, this is on point. So I can honestly say, and this is where a lot of people get stuff confused. Yeah. It's a difference between, okay, yes, I can be a, a, a female, but that doesn't necessarily require or mean that I'm a woman. Okay. For for a a, a a female to come out of her mouth and start asking the dude for money, yeah, basically it's like okay, yeah, you trying to take advantage, but also at the same time, then they get mad that men say okay, yeah, she she a gold digger, yeah, you are because why are you asking him for anything? Mm -hmm. Your responsibilities are your responsibilities. Be mature enough to take care of your own stuff. Mm -hmm. That man didn't help you with those bills. He didn't he didn't help you create them bills. So therefore, be woman enough. Pay your own shit and leave him the hell alone. Because yes, granted, at the end of the day, men got a, got apartments, houses, mm -hmm. mortgages, rent, car notes, insurance, and all that other stuff too. So just because he's a male, and that's the problem now these days, women put too much pressure on men. Men are supposed to do this. Men are supposed to do that. Men are supposed to provide. Men are supposed to like okay, give the man a break. Give him a break. You know what? You hit that. Like, how about be a support for him? How about, you know what? You know what, babe? I got you. How about I pay this for you this time? You know what? You you need some help? Come on. Yeah. I have always 
live by the motto is um I'm not paying your bills. Okay. Now I'll pay our bills. Right. But I'm not paying your bills. But she key word is you're dating. Yeah. Oh, we just dating. You're oh, dating no. together. They're no, not no, in a no. relationship. No, They're no, not no, in no, no commitment. No, no, no. So my thing is, you know what? Let the man show up and show you who the hell he is first before you start asking for stuff. Because at the end of the day, what, what, what a lot of these females don't realize, once you start asking these guys for stuff, you pushing him away. Oh, yeah. They lose you're respect. You pushing him away. They, they, they lose respect for you. Because it's like, oh, okay, you know what? I, I know what this chick want. You know what? You know what? I can give her this. And you know what? But at the end of the day, okay, you know what? That's where that's when it becomes transactional. Because now here it is. Okay, I'm giving her money. So what you want to give me? What, what, what you going to do for me? Exactly. And again, there is no respect. You're not going to have no say within, I guess, your relationship with that. If, if that's what, what you want to call it. Yeah. And then the men, the men who actually do that. Oh, the simping? The simpers, the simpers, <laughs> it, they make it bad for all of us. Now, granted, I'm I, I'm not young. Well, I mean, just you know like I mean? the but, women make it bad. So let's just say, OK, yeah. out of 10 women, probably eight women is asking dudes for money in these quote unquote situations. And, and, and you get the small percentage out of, three of, of those women. Men, they're paying. They're paying it. Right. But then you get the small percentage of women. Let's just say two out of 10. And I'm part of that two percent. Well, 20 percent or whatever. So now I approach a guy or meet a guy and he's automatically assuming that I'm that tight. No, I don't want nothing from you. I can provide for me and my own. Yeah. Listen, a real man will find that that uh, 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 attractive. If a woman can provide on her own. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yo, that's such a turn on for me. Now, that makes me want to do things for you. And because I want like my girl. Are. Yeah, I, I want to make sure my girl. Because then it's good. like, okay, damn. You know what? I see. You, I really see you. I see that you 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 trying to do your thing. Like, how yeah. can I help you? Yeah, I see you, boo. <laughs> now, you doing your thug fizzle, right? <laughs> man? Let me tell you something. Well, that's such a turn on. Look, you young guys, man. I'm 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 gonna tell you what 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 a man likes. Real you man. meet a girl, a real man. You meet a girl who got her own place, doing her own thing, got her own job, her own car, her own money. Sometimes you, you got to, you know, you know I, I, I feel like I want to take a vacation. So you just want to go over her crib and chill. Get away from your crib. Mm-hmm. Go to her crib and chill. Ain't no thing. What's up, baby? You, you put some you put some gas on it. Put some gas in your car. Give me your car keys. I'll fill it up for you. I got you right, right here. Right. I got you right here. Right. Let's go get something to eat. Don't worry about that. I got that bill. Don't even worry about it. Right. You know what I mean? Be, it's just the, the knowing that I can get away. Right. I can go. I can go to my lady crib. Turn my phone off. I ain't got to worry about my job and calling me. I ain't worried about my homies just calling me. Actually, being having somebody that can actually support you, so, yo, support and, you physically, financially, if need be. If, yo, I lose my job. Oh hell Come yeah! Come on, yeah. Especially when you're in a relationship, because it's like, okay, why does the man have to always be the one that that holds down everything? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Boy, I'll be like, what's up, baby? Come on, let me rub your feet. I got you right here. <laughs> you see, let me tell you some of you young guys out there, man. If you don't know how to rub feet, man, you got to take your fingers out going between the toes. <laughs> Boy, they lose their motherfucking mind. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. You ever had your feet rub? Is that it again? You ever had your feet rub? Yes. Did, did he get in between the toes? So, let me, let, let me just say this. <laughs> here it is. Let's go. <laughs> and this is not to put my business Let's out go. there. Okay? Put it out there, goddammit. I am I'm, I am sensitive to certain parts of my body. And, and I'm going to just leave it at that. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> In the chat like this. <laughs> um, what part you say again? <laughs> I'm not saying no parts. I just said certain. <laughs> hey, hey, like I'm, I'm hey, very yeah. smart. <laughs> yeah, I think she said that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy, they gonna be Love. they gonna be at this joint studio sitting out there waiting for T to come out. Boy. Look, y'all can wait. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a nice little wig on. You won't even know it's me. Oh, uh, they gonna they gonna have they gonna have that lotion and everything ready, boy. That's all they had this joint podcast. Man. Oh my gosh! Drop a comment, leave a like, and tell us what you think. Man, was she spitting facts or not? Yes, she was. Yeah, she was dropping that. Yeah, knowledge, but I want to see what y'all got to say. Yeah. Man, shall we go to that the next video? <laughs> what we got? Oh, 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 what my man Ooh saying? Show, Show me them, them shoes. Uh, okay. Look at Ooh. Hey, what it do? <laughs> I see y'all too much alike. Ooh was like, yeah, you know, that's my hmm. man. Oh, God. That's, that's my man. That, that's yeah. my man, 50 y'all Grand. Y'all both bad influences. <laughs> I can't deal with the two of y'all. Mm. Uh, video number three. 
<laughs> a woman says there is nothing wrong with accepting free drinks from a man at a bar while in a relationship. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Is she right or wrong? Let's see what she got to say. Yeah. It's this drunk podcast. Oh. Peanut. Let's go. My boyfriend just asked me when I'm out with my friends, if a man offers me a drink, what I do. And I'm like, I take the drink. And he was so surprised. He was like, what? And I'm like, well, what did you expect me to say? And he was like, I thought you were going to say no. Like when a man offers you a drink or if a man offers you a drink, you turn it down. And I'm like, no. Like, um, I mean, there are moments yeah. where it's appropriate to turn out a drink, right? Yeah. If a man is let me, like, let me hear those you, you yeah. want I'm that, mixed turn on it this down. Right. If a let man me hear those walks moments. over to you with a drink or says, I'm going to get you a drink, I'll be right back, turn it down. I got to see it be made. But if we are literally at the bar together and you like, what are you drinking or what are you having? I'll get it for you. Absolutely. Mm. And then I set the standards or the mm. expectation afterwards mm. that not only no, are you buying a drink for me and my did. friends, but mm. we're not about to sit here and talk and mingle and flirt afterwards. Like, if you buy me a drink, I want you to know that you are literally just buying me a drink. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I'm not turning down the drink. Like, <laughs> I guess that's like the whole point. My point is I'm not turning down a free drink, especially when mm. you get it for me and my friends. Like, for what? But like, what do I get out of that other than no drink? <laughs> okay. All right. Let me let me say this now. Okay, I'm listening. When I was young, I didn't have an issue with guys buying uh, my girl a drink because okay. I was young and I was a fighter. I'm like, yo, you tell that motherfucker he won't buy you a drink. He got buy me. You know, I'm mean? tell him to get you two, and and bring that motherfucker to me. If he got a problem with it, then it's on and popping. Okay. But now, now that I'm older, that's attention seeking. That's just see seeking attention and sometimes unwanted attention that can be dangerous because you don't know what type of man you're dealing with who bought right. you that drink. He could have mental issues. He could be aggressive. And then, yeah, come on now, now, you leave the house with some money. Buy your own goddamn drink. I'm not a drinker. Like I yeah. said, I don't do the clubs. I don't do the bars. However, every yeah, man, now and again, the, I may slide, go hang out. Besides you that cranberry juice. Yes, that's exactly. Because literally, anybody <laughs> would tell you, if I go somewhere with them to like a bar or a club, they'd be like, why are you drinking that juice? But whether it's juice or alcohol, whatever it may be, I even know firsthand that when a guy is coming to offer you something to drink, there are expectations to that. That's opening the door like, OK, well, you know what? I just bought you a drink. So what comes after this? So basically, you, yeah, he's you opening know, you that door what? to try to see, OK, what can he get after that? Because nine times out of, out of 10 at a bar, a guy, is that's his way in flirting with you. Mm -hmm. So I, I do honestly believe that that is a little disrespectful for her. So let OK, let's just say if you tell the guy like, look, I'm in a relationship. You no, know, are you going to buy me and my friends drinks? No, open say that disclosure before he even buys you the drink like look are you going to buy the drink for me and my friends don't just have yeah. him buy the drink for you and now he's thinking okay we're going to sit here and socialize because that's what happens and no. he's going to sit right there with you he's going to socialize with you and he's going to have the intention that okay you know what by the time i finish talking to her we're going to exchange numbers you can't exchange numbers with this dude because you live with a man listen there yeah, i'm gonna take a little a, a, a little deeper than that as I said before, that's unwanted attention. Right. Two, you don't know who you're dealing with. And three, I believe that's disrespectful on your man. Right. Or or your woman. To be what now, about this whole double-edged sword? He does it, then what? So if yeah. he does that, if he accepts a drink from a girl, what would she say? Or man, so was he send a drink to a girl? Mm, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, so that, people so don't you, people don't look at both sides of the story because my thing is it's like Put yourself in that person's shoes. How would you feel? Yeah. And people fail to do that now these days. Now, I mean, now, grant, now, granted, because I, I, I have done this. I have sent a woman a drink. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the head nod. If, if I think you look pretty, it, and that's it. Right. I'm just, I'm just being generous. But she even and I'm mentioned, just like, oh, you're not about to sit here and now, flirt. Yeah. So you already know what, what, what it's hidden for. Now, if a man walk up and he's trying to talk, he's trying to get his crack on. Oh, can I buy you a drink? No, right. I got her, man. So, I'll turn down things at the, at the, with the quickness. No, thank you. It, it was, it was Netflix no, thank and you. a bottle of Henny. What? Ooh, my man. What? Oh, gosh. Ain't no way. Now, I would definitely want my girl to turn down the drink. Because, again, mm -hmm. that's 
you shouldn't be talking to no man. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be talking. Put the to shoe man. on the other foot. She, my thing is, it's like, okay, if that was me and the, and the roles were reversed, how would you feel? If my girl told me, yeah, I, I took a drink from her, I'm like, oh, word, mm-hmm. we going out. Mm-hmm. And when we go out, I'm going to sit at that bar. Oh, that's a pretty woman right there. And guess what? Bar it's Mason, going to be an argument. Drink. And guess what? There'll be an argument before yeah, I mean, they even leave. I'll be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Oh, look at that beautiful white woman right there. Hey, bar me. Send her a drink right there. Wh- whatever she drinking. Right. Oh, look at that beautiful black woman right there. Yeah, send her a drink right there. Send her. Man, I ain't, tra- I ain't trying and to hear she'll shit. she'll have a whole attitude. And she got- look, she'll be riding home in the passenger seat <laughs> looking out the window. <laughs> That's what we do when we mad. We look out the window this way. <laughs> Shit, I roll it with it down. You stick your head out like a motherfucking dog. Put my headphones in. You talking and I'm listening to my music. Look at this direction. (laughs) Hey, I'm like, oh, you ain't talking to me? (laughs) Like what? I don't need you to talk later on either. (laughs) Look, get home and get in the bed. Put a crease in between the blanket. (laughs) Yeah, I bust one off on your forehead. Talking about, yeah, that could have been in you, but you chose otherwise. (laughs) This your podcast, man. I'll let your boy. Oh, man, listen, drop a like. Drop a comment and tell us what you think about that. You know what I mean? Is that right or wrong for your woman to be accepting drinks from other men? Man, you know, you're crazy, huh? I'm I crazy. Mean, well, you crazy. I don't know how how your family just deal with you, man. Eh? Look, my daughter right there, ask her, how, how do y'all deal with me? <laughs> 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 what is that? Yeah. Staring out the window till we get home? Yeah. And I roll the window down. You stick your head out there, motherfucker, like a dog. Like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Catch your wind. Hey, let's slide to the next video. Oh, we on video number? I don't know. Where we at? Wait a minute. 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 Are we on three or four? Are we on number four? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do I, do I got a set? Yes, do I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Stay Here we go. prepared to be prepared. Oh, well, you know how it is. You know I made that woofer. Mm, Video thing. number four. No more. No more. <laughs> Video number four. Both men and women was asked, what does a man prefer? Okay. A natural body or a BBL? Let's see what these are. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. It's yeah. this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. Do you think men prefer a natural body or a BBL? BBL. 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 Do you prefer natural bodies or BBL bodies? Natural. 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 Tell them right there. Look at that. Look, that's nice. That's nice and simple. That's nice and simple. There's not one guy that said BBL. Not one. Not not one guy. Not one. Now we will sleep with a woman with a BBL, but I don't believe. I'm just throwing that percentage here. I mean, I'm pulling it out of my ass. Okay. I say at least about seventy percent men. We don't. We don't want a woman with a, a BBL. Well, I've had relations with a woman with a BBL, and it this, felt like you filling on fucking plastic. It ain't feel because right. y'all look at it. Yeah, but we don't. So we don't want. We don't want to pass, marry it. We yeah, don't want to marry that shit. But then also the other issue is women don't talk and speak to men. Like, ask them the question. Like, what is it that you like? So how are you supposed to know what the guy likes if you just want to sit there and assume? Mm. But y'all give us the indication a lot of times from the likes on social media, a chick walk past with it. So the presumption for, for women is not for me, but the presumption for women is that's what you want. That's what you like. No, so which, which is why a think. lot of women are continuously getting it. The boob jobs, you know, the BBLs, because they think that's what y'all want. Yeah. Listen, just like Usa, no BBL. I don't want to be filling on no hard ass plastic. How you know it's hard? No, See, when I was young, I was young. See, but you, you know what I mean. Like, you know what I mean. With somebody with a BBL, man, man, you can't lay your head in between that shit. That's like laying your head in between two volleyballs. Oh lord, that ain't comfortable. I want my head in between two natural pillows. I can't speak for that, so sorry. I know you can't because you're a yeah. woman. Lord knows, but I don't. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You, you, when, when I take a woman home to my mother, I want I, I want her to be natural. Okay. Because, see, my mother's the type of woman, she'll clown the shit out of you. She was oh, like, Lord. boy, what the hell are you bringing it? Look at them skinny <laughs> ass legs and shit with that big butt. You yeah, that, I mean? that should be so disproportionate. Like, Yo. wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. Did, did you even look in the mirror? Like, first of all, who the hell was your surgeon? Listen, a lot of these young, these modern women, they're so thick headed. They just believe that a, a, a man prefers 
a BBL. But in reality, we this prefer is water. the natural. He's drinking the alcohol. I'm drinking water. Just oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is alcohol. And this is my water. But you know what I mean? We prefer the natural women. <laughs> I believe that, you know, I don't give a fuck. I've always said that women who continue to get these boob jobs, they have low self-esteem. So you think they're doing, work, it, you think they doing it in competition with other women? Other women. Don't want to work on their body. Don't want to get in the gym <laughs> and work on their body. Get in the gym to work on the body that you desire. Stop taking a fucking shortcut. Yeah, but sometimes it's a little harder. Difficult. It's going to be hard. Yeah, you're in the gym. It's difficult. Once Going you, to the gym is hard. Older, but it gets and easier. And it gets down. easier. As you keep working out, it gets easier. Okay, yeah. Where it's, and it's not just just working out, it's the eating habits, too. You know what I mean? Now, granted, now, now, if one titty is like one inch and the other titty is like five <laughs> inches, then yeah, get that, you know what I mean? Because you, you're getting corrective surgery. But there's nothing wrong with your titty nipples. Leave them alone. Okay. <laughs> two basketballs and two picks. That's, that's what I said. Two basketballs and two, two, two picks. It ain't sexy, man. Looking like a cartoon character. What do they call characters? Ca characters? Ca oh, characters. yeah, with the big head. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, do you got something to say? I'm done. Because you over there coughing. You are. I'm choking because you made. So now it's like I'm trying to catch my breath because it's like. <laughs> <laughs> choking on that spit. Yo, let me tell you this story, man. Well, look, I remember one time I used to work out the airport when I was a young boy. <laughs> And um, I stopped at McDonald's, so I got like uh, uh, one of them breakfast meals, and I I took a sip. So I'm I hate on McDonald's. I'm, this is my story. This is not your story. Okay. I'm on <laughs> I'm on the train platform, and I take a sip of my orange drink, and it went down the wrong pipe. Mm. Oh my god! I'm you choking, and choking? all all these people standing around me. <laughs> I'm trying to look cool and choke <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> look, don't do that now, it's, especially since COVID. It's like you can't Oh, they let choke, you die right then and there. You can't there. choke, you can't call because everybody think you got COVID and then they walking away, away, away from you. Look, you look like you got some kind of disease. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. like, it's like there are still allergies now these days. People ain't trying to hear that. No, they not. Yeah, they people not. ain't trying to hear that. They not. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Give me that all natural body. I listen. I like. I like my women all natural, man. Oh, wow. I don't care if you got no titty nipples. You got a flat booty. I don't care. It's all about your personality. I'm of course I'm at that age right now, so it's all about your personality mm -hmm. and what and what you can do for me or what we can do for each other. I mean, yeah, it's, Los it's, is older it's now. CJ would say, "Leave them baby hairs alone." <laughs> oh my God! Them things that they, that, that they be gluing to their forehead. Oh my God! Oh what? my God! I did see that. Like, wait a minute. How the hell do you tape? Hold up. I did see somebody. Somebody had tattooed a baby hair, like an image of a baby hair <laughs> on their face. I'm like, you got to be ridiculous because that does not. Hold on. Hold, 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 hold. You said they tattooed? They tattooed the baby hair on their forehead. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got to find that picture, y'all. This yeah, podcast, I, man. <laughs> let's, let's go to number five, man. Let's All make right, sure we got five, this thing five. here. Let's this thing here set up, man. Video number five. Okay. Uh, what is that? We don't know. We got a dude who speaks his mind on why women shouldn't date uneducated men. He says that an educated man will know how to escape poverty. Is he right or wrong? Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. It's this jump podcast. Aww. Let's go. I'm so sick of people getting bad advice. And one of the worst pieces of advice that I hear all the time is don't date a broke man. Wrong. Wrong. It's not don't date a broke man. Don't date an uneducated man. For when he is intellectually he inferior, he will assert Damn. his dominance in other arenas. Let me say that again, because I need to jot that down. When no. he is intellectually inferior, he will assert his dominance in other arenas. When he can't match your intellect, when he can't match you in conversation, when he can't really sound like somebody you, just scarred him. He, really he, he sounds yeah. so He will assert his dominance in other hurt, arenas. His strength will show him. up in other yeah. places, and those places will it be emotional or physical abuse or both. Hmm. Am I lying? Yeah. You need an educated man. For an educated man will know how to escape poverty. An educated man has an understanding of patriarchal system. An educated man understands feminism. And an educated man understands how Did to learn. Understands when you feminism? deal with an uneducated man, you're dealing with a man who never had to be a student. You can't teach somebody who has never learned how to be taught. You're always a student. So he in life, you're always a student. Work. What is he talking about? Do different for you. <laughs> but an educated man will get it. Especially for women, y'all are getting degrees at higher rates, which means you're escaping poverty at higher rates, which means you're making more money. But and the it degree don't mean nothing. Superior. So if he's not beating you intellectually and financially, where else can he beat you at? 
Okay. Yeah. All right, well, now, hold on. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not who who says that. he talking to men or women? <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling this. So it sounds like he he, he scarred a tad bit because at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with someone's education. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because if someone is going to be emotionally abusive, that has nothing to do with their financial status. I know this for sure. Nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. So if he wants to talk something and, and, and say that someone's intellect and then they're going to put their dominance in other areas, that goes for anyone, not just men. That's women, too. There's women, too. So what's someone's education or level of education? Look, now these days we have all these people, as he mentioned, getting degrees, but they can't even get jobs. But then nine times out of ten, and, and, they, and they say this, it's always the C students that are the bosses over the A students. So what does oh, yeah. that tell you? Yeah. What does that yeah. tell you? I think it will. I don't want to say it because I don't want YouTube to get on my ass. But uh -oh. I'm, I'm just going to leave that alone. I think that he is misspeaking or he has misspoken because it seems like he's talking about uneducated men, but I think he's talking about men who ha don't have morality. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, it, it, you can be educated with no morality. You can be uneducated with no morality. But if you don't know right from wrong, then you know what I mean? You, you got you got an issue. Yeah. Because I, I mean, mean you, you could be uneducated, but it, but you you can have ambition as a man. True. You could be willing to 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 learn. Because I mean, shit. Remember back in the day, I mean, black men we weren't allowed to have have an education. So what you're telling me is that it, it, that all people, even men period. back then, yeah, all black men period. back then was 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 beating a wife. Shit, we was too busy getting beaten. <laughs> right. <laughs> we we can't beat nobody. We was getting beaten. Right. It, if he's talking about general general men, then then he's no, completely he can't, wrong. He, can't, he definitely cannot generalize. Yeah, you can't thing. generalize that. You, you you're complete. Because I know. Be. Listen, I know people who don't have who got a GED. <clears throat> I know some people who don't have in high school who who are well off financially and have very good morality. Mm -hmm. But then I know people who have master degrees doctor degrees and are shitty people yeah it's shitty about people up, it's about the upbringing the background like it has not has nothing to do with just education so for him to just single out education and how a person acts or responds or treats people he's totally wrong yeah totally wrong yeah totally you know, now again for the women out there i don't think you should be dating men who are I'm who don't you. have ambition okay you know what i'm saying who aren't willing to learn I mean, because again, you don't really don't know people's position. Maybe as a young child, he had to take care of his family. He he, he couldn't go to school, and he had to, shit. Listen, T Pain <coughs> dropped out of high school, it's and he's a considered a that I know musical genius. It's quite a few people that I know personally that that to this day are grown adults, don't have diplomas or GEDs, or, and are su successful business owners. It, look, I looked up a list. 10 poorly educated but incredibly successful people. John D. Rockefeller. Okay. Horace Greeley. John Glenn, the astronaut. Steve Jobs of Apple. Mark Twain. Henry Ford. Look, and Steve Jobs is rich. William Shakespeare. Winston Churchill. Abraham and Lincoln. Albert Einstein. All over the place. Ex Albert Einstein. You know what I'm saying? Now, we want, we, we want to go black. Too many white people for you, we go black. Okay, let's go black. William Shockley, American inventor, physicist. Okay. W.E.B. Du Bois, founder of NAACP. Lewis Terman, American psychologist. Look, so, and Black History Month is coming up, so they'll be teaching y'all all this stuff. Exactly. You know how, they, how they do once a day, you know, try to point out a black person, even though black history should be every day. Exactly. And who said it right there? Education doesn't make people act right. It doesn't. It's all about morality. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's all about morality. Treat people the way you want to be treated. That's it. That's it. That's, that's just that's that's the way to live. Right. You know, isn't that what they call the golden rule? You know, hey, listen, I, I, I had treat a people mine. the way you want to be treated. It's that I, simple. I had a friend of mine who all he dated was women with low self esteem. Oh wow! He so loved it sounds it. like he wanted that control. No, because he said that was easy, easy skins. What? <laughs> Again, control. You know, that was easy pickings. Yeah, control. If that's what you want to call it. Yeah, that sounds like control. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like control. Mm, of course, a from a man, from man's perspective, you wouldn't say that. Because <laughs> us men, we got to look out. We got to look out for each other.
I mean, we got to look out for each other. This your podcast, man. <laughs> hey, listen, we need y'all to drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what you think. You know what I'm saying? Is he right or wrong? Who hurt that young man? Somebody hurt him. He was mad. He just got finished arguing with somebody because he was (laughs) fired up. Yes, ooh, easy. Yeah, oh, he was hot. He was hot. (laughs) Do I? Oh man. See, you know, you be having me rolling, man. I be forgetting to set the next one up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you be having yourself rolling. (laughs) Uh, Agree to disagree. That's right, man. Agree to disagree. Yeah, I mean, that's what we got in this world. Uh, Video number six. An employer tried to make a Gen Z employee come in for an 8 a.m. meeting despite being told that his working hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Whose side are you on? Okay, let's see what this is. Yeah. Come up from the it's HR perspective. So, from the HR perspective. my HR perspective oh. on this one. Let's go. I asked to come in for an 8 a.m. meeting. My Gen Z new hire said, Ugh, sorry, I can't make it. I have a workout class. Should this be allowed? My visceral reaction was, Are you fucking kidding me? No, fully. Like, A, Ooh. you're typing this out. Ooh. I was like, Please. Like, my hand's shaking and it's not from the caffeine. You just started this job. I don't give a flying shit about your workout class. Also, an 8 a.m. workout class is too late. Work out at six, yep. maybe seven. Hi. Yeah, not Doesn't least. matter. So, um, we can talk about this more later, but I'm going to address this now. It was made very clear during the interview process that the working hours for this position is between 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern time and I am on Eastern time. I made that very clear with HR because I have commitments outside of work. I go to the gym, I work out because I care about my health. Okay. Sure, I can make a sacrifice to go to an 8 a.m. meeting had I known at least a week before that I needed to go at 8 a.m., not a day before. Also, my workout class starts at 7.30, not at 8, but I didn't know that I needed to tell you that. Okay, let's just say I skip the gym. Two things. When can I expect you to reimburse me for my class? And two, are you going to be paying me from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. or at the very least, let me leave at 4 p.m.? Natalie, if your answer to both of those are no, then there's no discussion needed. I will see you at 9 o'clock today. Also, yeah, I sent an email to HR about this and sent them the link to that TikTok video. So, um, just to make things clear. Wow. Yeah. From the HR perspective. <clears throat> From the HR perspective. I've been in HR for well over 10 years. Do people try that bullshit? Do that, supervisors no. try that? So, this is the thing. It comes down to not the interview process. He mentioned the interview process. What I would like to know is what does his official documentation say? What does your official offer or or official letter say? Because that's going to define what his actual working hours are. So it's really hard to say. However, Sometimes what I what I do not like is employees want to start the job. You want to you you want to do what you got to do to get in the door, but then you want to fall off. And people don't like being flexible. I don't know what his job is or what his duties are. However, from a HR perspective, if they gave him that twenty four hours notice, it was nothing wrong with him being a, le- a little flexible. It it doesn't require a week. It doesn't because sometimes, like literally, I'm in meetings. Every single day, all day. Sometimes yeah. I don't get notified about a meeting until an hour beforehand. Oh, well, it is what it is. You got to revamp your schedule. It's called being flexible. But, but once but again, you, I don't know what his job is or what his duties is. But if his supervisor gave him a 24 hours notice, he should have been able to make accommodations for that. But but why not have the meeting at 9 a.m.? Why, ha- why have it at 8 a.m. when everybody's at work at 9 a.m.? Who knows? Who's to say that they mm-hmm. could have been meeting with someone from, a, from another uh, time zone? Hmm. Who's to say they could have been preparing for something that started at nine? Who knows? But because, then they should because, be, they should have made it clear that oh yeah we're going to pay you overtime or or you're going to get comp right. time. So that's what I'm saying. So it really depends. We don't know what the communication is or where the disconnect is. However, sometimes what I start what I what I've been noticing from a lot of these this the younger generation yeah. is okay. You know what? I'm not doing anything extra. Like, granted, yeah, you know what? I, I go to the gym, too. But you have people that don't want to give more than what they're what they're expected. So sometimes it's like, OK, you know what? I'm only I, if you only ask me to do A through A through C, that's all I'm doing. I'm not giving you D. Especially if you ain't paying me. Because that's where they say, well, I ain't getting paid. At the end no, of the day, no, no, no. Don't say word. See, that's not my job paid. description. Why it's not? not. My job but see, this is the thing. You work down. So let's just say me. I have I have multiple employees that's under me, right? Okay. So if let's just say if I have a clerk, you know, if I have a clerk and her job title is to help with certifications with onboarding, right? And I have another clerk that's out. 
or let's just say my clerk is out now i have to do my job including my clerks it's called working down i'm not asking you to do anything above your title however if we are a team you have to actually help to fill in that's where that goes that's how that works but i know for me i would want to explain well i mean am i going to get comped Times that is a ten, legitimate question. Yo, okay, so that. nine times out of ten, I know for me, if I ask an employee to start early or work a, a extra time, you're going to get yeah. comp time or you're going to get overtime. One of the two. It's not free. You don't get. You don't work for free. The the fair labor standards. You you just can't work. You can't force a person to work for free. They have to get some yeah. type of compensation. Well, let, let's know that. Then let's put this in this scenario. Maybe. I mean, we don't know the whole story because we're just looking at it. Right, we don't. But maybe he was being argumentative and saying, yeah. well, uh, you ain't paying me. I ain't getting paid. Boo, 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 and I ain't coming in. Instead of just asking, is, is this OT or is this comp for me? Right. Because I'm sure they would have they would have said, ain't nothing wrong. Supervisor, I'm like, nah, no, I'm, I'm going to pay you OT. Yeah, I'm going to pay you for an hour OT. taking that to social media either. Yeah. Then I would have been like, hey, listen here. Now listen here have fun. So now she can get disciplined for even putting that out there. Like, I mean, I'd be like, yo, man. I go to the gym at eight o'clock. I don't know because at the end of the day, whatever whatever communication or lack thereof between the two of them, something is misconstrued. What he sent to HR or whatever, it, it, including that link, mm. they will research it because. But what? And, and what that's did, what did, I would do. Didn't he snitch? He said, "I'm I'm tagging." He dry snitch like a ma. Yeah, I mean it wasn't it wasn't worth it, but I mean I guess he just felt some type of way. He being real sassy. That was real yeah. sassy. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, At the end of the day, it's like, what? First thing I would say, yeah, I could be there, but am I, am I getting paid? Yeah, because my thing is, it's like, okay, you know what? You my employee, especially if he's an at-will employee. Okay, oh, you know it what? Is. That's a word HR love. At, look, they love, they love that at-will look, work. At-will employee, <laughs> sorry, this is not going to work. Go find somebody else. Uh, they love that word at, at will. Look. Yeah. Man, who, who invented that shit? It's a safety protection for the employers because if once you once you get into that whole, you know, okay, the employee is permanent or whatever like that, or you know, the probationary period, like, you know, for us, me specifically yeah. with, you know, my in place of uh work, all employees get a six month probation. So I get six months for anybody that works under me, you know, pretty much that six months to evaluate you, your skills and see if you catching on. To basically what I'm training you to do. Yeah. And if I see that you're not even really putting forth the effort, something like that, and you just started, oh no. <laughs> you still on your probation. Yeah, you still on your probation. You should that's, be here. You should be here. Bad you should, you should be here seven thirty in the morning. If you doing that now, <laughs> imagine what he'll do once he's permanent. Mm. Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. Uh, you ever run into people like this? Oh man, I ain't doing that. I ain't I ain't doing it. You know what? I'm 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 a, I'm gonna get a lawyer. Um, you're in where? Pennsylvania, man. It's at Look, will. Lori ain't gonna help so you. I am. Lori ain't gonna help you. Yeah, with us, you know, they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm calling the union. Call your union rep because let me tell you something. That's one thing about me. I'm very mm -hmm. meticulous with my writing and my documentation. I document everything. So, yeah, call oh, the union. Oh, shit, your writers be perfect, huh? Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> let me tell you something. I had the union come one time and it was like, and, and the girl called her, call herself trying to. You know, rat on me about her being late. Oh, you know what? Everything is documented. Text messages, everything. And to the union, turned around and looked at her and said, what the fuck is your problem? Like, why you just can't come to work on, on time? Like, look, here you is. You're trying to, trying to make me look bad. Anybody that knows me, I'm very good at what I do. Very good at what I do. The year rip, he smacked up side of the head. Pay work. I do. Playing around with these good folks. Nah, don't don't waste my time. <laughs> oh, because man. anybody knows anything that I do is 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 always on point. So don't don't play them games with me. Oh man, this your podcast, man. So whose side are you on? Ah. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't on either one of their side, but I mean, you know, yeah. hey, I, I I need to. See, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to. Look. I'm talking to the people. Who are you talking, I'm talking to, to the people like in the that? world out there. Y'all want to see him get smacked? Y'all want to see him get smacked? Yeah, I don't know. I might like that. You oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't deal with this dude. <laughs> oh man, this your own podcast, man. No pause. No <laughs> All right, let's get this again, man. Video number seven, man. Come get him. As a matter of fact, just come rescue me. <laughs> yeah. She's a shit starter, y'all. She's no, a shit not. starter, y'all. No, I'm not. I am an angel. Oh man. Video number seven. She says that women don't run from the D. 
They run from the bad stroke. Okay, so if my kids is on here, can you please what do you think? log off? <laughs> so we gonna need you to log off right about now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's just, you can just log off right now. <laughs> oh, you know what? God damn it! I let me. That guy's in a right here. Gia, yeah, there we go. A lot of you guys are delusional. You can't take this. You be running from the dick. She be running from the dick. <laughs> Women don't run from dick. We can literally, you know, shoot out in a nine pound one ounce infant. Okay, we're not running from it. We're running from bad stroke. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm about choked. to <laughs> tell the truth and shame the dick devil. Damn. Okay, oh my God. women run from bad stroke, not big dick. What's a bad stroke? Okay. That ground and pound y'all do like y'all in MMA. Okay, that <laughs> fucking that's ground. That's what y'all think like y'all really women like that. We're in, we're Sometimes not, you just want to. <laughs> okay. Women are built inside. We have so many erogenous zones and G spots. It's really this thing here. Like it looks great on camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's on camera. <laughs> Does it feel so good after a while? Hey. Mm. Okay. Beat them guts up. Yeah. That's exactly Let me tell you something. See, let me tell you. Exactly what it touches. <laughs> let me tell you something. Me. I don't like the ground and pound. Like I, I got this method called the shock and all. You know what I'm saying? What's that? I like to I like to sneak up behind and give her some quick pumps, uh, dip in to get out. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So here we yeah, go. Back, I'm like, back to your ten. Yeah, I call, I call it the special forces. Oh. You getting ten seconds of good loving? <laughs> ten seconds of good loving. <laughs> Twenty pumps, boy. I'm killing it. I'm <laughs> killing it. Come when I come, or come when I come back. Oh Lord! <laughs> the shock and all. Time you come back, I don't finish myself <laughs> off. So hey, I'm with a nap can cure. <laughs> oh, you know I talk that talk. Ooh. You know oh, I talk gosh, that talk. You can keep your ten seconds to yourselves. Okay? Yeah, Thank yeah. You very much. This ain't no marathon. This is a go kart race. <laughs> I'm gonna put that battery in my back, and I'm gonna go to town with them good. No, ten, obviously ten, you ten ain't seconds. put a battery if you go in ten seconds. <laughs> Well, you know, some of them batteries don't last long. Oh, Lord. You getting one of them Dollar Tree batteries? Of course, man. <laughs> yeah, I got triple A. You ain't put no D battery in my back. I'm too old for the D batteries. Go ahead. So I can agree with her. You can okay, agree with her? So, no, no ground pound? So hold up, hold up. So I guess it honestly, I can only speak for me because okay. it's been several women that I know. Like, you know, us women, us ladies, we, we do have the, the sexual talk. So. Okay everybody's body is different however <laughs> yes sometimes it's about the positioning it's not about the size believe me. for real believe me it's not about the size so women some women you everybody's so, is, the so, point is different so, so, man, so a man say, come okay, and hung like a horse you like shit i'm not looking at it because at the end of the day because i've had size like that before okay but at the end of the day if they're so into it and then it's poking me, that shit hurts. <laughs> it shit hurt. <laughs> and then it's like it's uncomfortable. So now here it is. You know what? I'm not even in the mood or whatever because it's like now I'm hurting. So it's like, okay, that's where it's like the two people need to have like a certain vibe. I need you to vibe with me. So uh, mm -hmm. also at the same time, when it comes to someone that's of a large size, I guess, depending on what she's, what she's speaking about. If she's, talk, if she's speaking about large in terms of length or depth because if it's in terms of length okay so then you know what now i need you to connect from the back because uh, then you, hey, you completely lost me with that conversation hey today. hey look it is what it is i'm speaking hey, hey, no comment well, that one went straight over my head right there but of course I, it will <laughs> but it's not always about the size right, it's right. about what you do with it all right, all right. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm gonna give it me. to don't, you. Don't, don't just please yourself like because it's like okay at the end of the day do you want me to come or not or is it just about you I'm gonna give you from a man point of view. Mm, okay. All right. all right. See, men, we like the ground and pound because that's that is the beast coming out in us. That that's our that's our 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 physical nature. Yeah, at the end. I mean, I'm talking he, head in the headboard. You know what I mean? You got a crick in your neck. <laughs> we trying to do all that, man. We trying to fuck up your hairstyle and oh, everything, gosh. boy. You know you what? But I do see what she's saying. I you know that's it, but. Hey man. Basically on what she was talking about, that's just sex, okay? So that's when you're just That's not making sex. love. That's not making love. So when you're making love to somebody or whatever, that's when you have like that connection with yeah. that person that you are, you know, dealing with. So he would know how to please you. You don't yeah. you wouldn't even have this conversation right now. Exactly. So, you know. 
that's why ladies just stay away from the sex the fuck boys it's stay away go. from the fuck there boys you go. And you, you know, find yourself a man that's gonna love you right you know what I mean and then when you're ready to be ground and pounded right just tell him hey, I need you I need you to ground pound me yes if he don't value you and your body and he show but, you that don't give him nothing alright enough of that dumb shit listen don't give him nothing. If she don't want to give it up, let him let him use Pamela. That's that's the name want, that she, we used if to she call don't want to back give, in the day. Pamela. She don't want to give it up, man. You got to hit her with the shock and all. Look, sneak, like like, like y'all said, sneak up behind it. Look, hold yeah. up. The ratio of men to women. Look, why you got to even try to take it from me? Go to somebody else, then. You know what? Because I don't even want it. I'm gonna need you to drop a comment. Yeah, <laughs> drop that comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Podcast, man. Ooh, we had a good one for y'all tonight, boy. Hey, but guess what, y'all? We, we will be back tomorrow. We can't dance. I know. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, that was back in the day. Now I'm in the club. I'm just grab on boots. Uh, drop down and get you. That, that's the last song I remember dancing to in the club. Drop, drop down. down and get your eagle on, girl. Drop down and get your eagle on. Girl. You just want to go. You was dropping down. Yeah, everybody look. Sweat, look, sweating your hair out. Look, I'm the butterfly chick. Oh shit! Yeah. I can't cut her camera off because I ain't cut that motherfucker on. Uh, listen, man, thank you for doing this, man. Make sure you drop a comment, drop a like, man. Tell us what you think about the show. And uh, other than that, man, shit. I mean, we will see y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, hit y'all with the you know, hit you with the mm, deuces, man. Joining. Peace, love y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, we out. Good night. Yeah, let's get the fuck up out. Of here. Do I got to set up, man? Yes, I do. Peace.